If the only surefire guarantee in life is death, what are you doing tonight to make your life worth living? At 17, I thought I knew. It was my 4.7 GPA, my varsity letters, and my executive titles. Until I was rejected from college, from every college that I applied to. <laughs> and, and there I was, this 17-year-old crying myself to sleep at night because everything I thought I'd worked for, everything that meant something to me, was taken from me on April 1st. There I was, this 17-year-old crying myself to sleep because deep down, I realized that without all of this prestige, I didn't know who I was. And I had no idea where I was going. But I knew that I had to find an answer to that question. I was determined to find something that would actually fulfill me. And when I thought about what I was doing every day to make my life worth living, my answer was a gap year. And it can be yours too. Before leaving, I had no idea what the trials and triumphs would be like as I went for what ended up being two years on this gap year. I went from designing for a famous fashion designer in Shanghai to committing Fox News' worst travel blunder of 2010. The journey took me across nine cities, six countries, three continents, and 12 internships. In the end, I found my dream career, my very best friend, my political, well, I should say my government major, but I also found myself. Harvard alone has experienced a 33% jump in the number of students that are taking a gap year before coming to the college. But what you may not know is that a gap year isn't just for well-heeled high school students. Actually, it can be a viable and fulfilling path for current college students, mid-careerists, and those who are questioning if this is really where they belong. So tonight, if you're wallowing in job indecision, muddling through academic classes, waiting for your passion to just jump out at you, questioning where you actually belong. You deserve an answer. A gap year can be that answer. For the job seeker, put yourself ahead of the curve and ahead of the competition by volunteering or taking a temporary position in another country. If you choose to go to a developing country, no doubt you will discover new challenges and grow you will definitely experience a new perspective on your job as well. Just over my two years, I had exposure to 15 different industries in the real time. Now, I actually know what I have a passion for because I discovered it. I didn't think about it through a textbook. I didn't see it on a TV commercial. I actually felt it. And when I do settle into my dream career, I'll bring international problem solving and diverse cultural experience to the boardroom. What about the academically undecided? How would you like to save $200,000 and who knows how many years of your life? That's what I saved by pursuing my intended college major of social entrepreneurship in real time instead of studying it at Princeton University the way I thought I wanted to. Here I was in the jungles in India in 120 degree heat, working in mud huts where the number one cause of death was tiger attacks. It didn't take me long to realize that that's not what I expected it to be like. And thank goodness I realized it then, because I would have spent that $200,000 on the Ivy League education I thought I wanted, only to work that hard to get to the very same spot. And then what would I do with my life? A gap year is your opportunity to learn what you're really passionate about with your bare hands. And besides, now that I'm back, 
There is no lecture hall that could make me sweat the way those jungles did. What about those who are questioning where they belong? You can't know until you go. I drink a lot of Earl Grey tea, but I could never understand what it's like to really feel Big Ben chime for tea time unless I'd actually gone to London and pursued it there. And the best part about going to a new location as part of your gap year is that it's always a win-win situation because either you find your next address or you come home more appreciative than ever before. One year can change your life and you can afford the time. I want you to think about a whole pie. Now this pie represents your entire life, all the time that you'll have. If you're a one-year-old, this pie is everything you've ever known. But at 25 years old, that pie is a single slice. That one year is so thin, it is hardly a serving size. And if you knew that that one slice could mean the difference between constantly questioning, is this the career I want, or actually getting up every morning and saying, yes, this is what I want to do. Wouldn't that be worth the calories? You can make the time. And you can afford it. Even at the ripe old age of 18, I was able to support myself through paid internships, small savings, and scholarships. If your company doesn't pay for you to go, you can always earn a paycheck while working abroad through taking temporary assignments, or there are many other ways that a gap year can cost you less than the life you're living now. Finally, you're capable of finding incredible opportunities. A trivial web search will open up the realm for you. You can go with volunteer organizations around the world, join an international student group, or ask your company to sponsor a pro bono activity for you or some of your team to work on behalf of the company in another country. The hardest part when you get down to it is forcing yourself to dream bigger. Once you're capable of doing that, the plans practically write themselves. Now imagine coming home one year from now so full of passion, so invigorated, because you finally took the time to explore the passion all we wondered about. You are the entertainer at the next cocktail party. You are the callback after your next interview. And suddenly, you appreciate that Bostonian accent hollering headlines on Harvard Square. Suddenly, you really love a true American cheeseburger eaten on Massachusetts Avenue. Suddenly, the world's waiting for you. Now my life-changing gap year started because I simply considered the option. I, I can't expect you to drop everything and move to Thailand on Tuesday, but when the job ends, when the semester's finished, when the days bleed together and start to grow dull, mind the gap. And remember, it is never too late to find yourself, perhaps as an accountant building homes on the leafy banks of the Amazon. It is never too late to explore your passion, maybe teaching in downtown Philly. It is never too late to live the life that you deserve. My double gap year was the best time investment I ever made. It taught me that every day can actually be full of wonder. Those years brought meaning back to my life. And if the only guarantee in life is death, what are you doing tonight to make your life worth living? Thank you. Oh.